All right, Shalom. Shalom. It's the um, brothers from the GMS so North Carolina came back with another video. Before we go any further, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar Kodash. The Barnes are apostles and elders of the great military of the of truth, according to the Bible, and rule well, and peace and blessings so for like the nation of Israel. Today, basically, I'm going to go into a lesson on how, you know, you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans don't want to seek the Lord, you don't want to hearken unto the words of the prophets, you know, starting with our apostles and elders of the great millstone and the men on down, the men of the Lord that Yahweh by Shema Shah set up to reprove you, you know, to give you correction, you know, ultimately what, so you can repent from your wickedness, repent from smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, you know, worshiping uh, these false pagan idols, you know, celebrating your birthday, uh, you know, celebrating Valentine's Day, you know, Christmas, Christmas, all these pagan holidays, you know, and seek the Lord. Go ahead, get Second Chronicles 36. This is Second Chronicles chapter 36, verse 15. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai of their fathers sent to them by his messengers. Yeah, who are the messengers of the Lord? Some today's time, what our apostles and elders, the great Muslim, and the men known down, the prophets of the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. Rising up be times. Yeah, rising up early, you know, why? Because what's the duty of a prophet? The duty of a prophet is to prophesy unto you, to tell you the things that are going to happen before they happen, you know? So they rise up early before the death and destruction. Go ahead. And sending. Mm hmm. Because he had compassion on his people. Yeah, so right now, the Lord is having compassion on his people. What? The doors of mercy are open. This is a time of repentance. Go ahead. And on his dwelling place. Mm -hmm. okay. Verse 16. <clears throat> but they mock the messengers of the Most High. Yeah, but you so called Negro Latinos and Native Americans that don't want to hark on to the word, what do you do? You mock the messengers of the Most High, you know? Oh, you guys are out there wearing shower curtains, you know? The things that you're saying aren't, uh, aren't ever going to come to pass. How could America, the greatest kingdom on the face of the earth, ever be destroyed? Go ahead. It reads on, and despised his words. Yeah, you know, oh my gosh, you're, you're teaching hate, you're preaching, um, you're, you're talking about rape, you know, mm -hmm. that you, 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 um, you're, you're preaching hate, you know, mm -hmm. where's the love, you know, that's what they, um, that word despise means hate, so what they despise, the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai, they despise the words that were being spoken by the prophets, you know. They despised that um, the prophets went out there on the highways and byways and reproved them, told them that they were committing wickedness and that they were going to die for committing those things, you know? And that their sweet, precious of miracle is going to be destroyed. Go ahead. And misused his prophets. Mm hmm. Go ahead. Until the wrath of Yahweh arose against his people. Yeah, until the wrath of Yahweh by Shema Shai arose against his people, you know? So Yahweh by Shema Shai brought great death and destruction for all those that didn't want to uh, repent and seek the Lord. You know? Go ahead. So there was no remedy. Yeah, so we got out there on the highways and byways to preach your repentance unto the house of Israel, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but you despise the words of the Lord. What? Then you're going to perish. You're going to die. You know? Yahweh by Shema Shai shall have no mercy upon you. Get them um, Amos uh, 5 and 10. Mm-hmm. Then get St. Luke 10, 16. Mm-hmm. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. Yeah, they hate him that rebuketh in the gate. You know, but we only the messengers, you know, we're only the mouthpiece of Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know? But the scriptures say, what well, they hate him, they rebuke him in the gate. You know, well, how do we rebuke our people with the word? You know, we cry out loud. We go out there on the highways and byways. We can week out on the chief place of cry, um, concourse. The wall of rope. And we, you know, we cry aloud. We spare not. We lift up our voice like trumpets. And we show our people um, their, their transgressions. transgressions. And how to Jacob their sins, you know? Uh -huh. We show our people where they're going off at. And we reprove them according to the word. Start from the top. Kind. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. Yeah, but we do all those things and what our people hate hate us for, you know? Our people hate to be corrected, you know? Mm -hmm. 
And they abhor Tzlakia, and they abhor him that speak uprightly. Yeah, who's out there? Who's out there speaking uprightly? Start with Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone. You know, we teach them uh, righteousness unto the nation of Israel, telling our people that they should grow their beards out, mm -hmm. that they should stop being the edge ups. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, that they should come back and worship the true and living power Yah by Shemuel Shai and believe on him and believe on his doctrine. You know, his way of life. And real quick, I'll chime in. Mm -hmm. And that word whore means to avoid. You see, so two thirds of the nation of Israel, they'll, they'll rather cross the street, you see, and take the long way to get to where they got to get. Just to avoid having to walk past the man of the Lord, hearing us speak uprightly. Coming, that says the Lord, that says the Holy Bible. Oh, just St. Luke uh, 10 and 16, beginning of Proverbs 15 and 10. Mm hmm. Think it Amos five and four. You know, oof, love. Go ahead. Uh huh. This is Saint Luke, chapter six, verse twenty-two. Uh, ten and sixteen. Oh, uh, ten and sixteen. Yeah. So like. Okay. Okay. This is Saint Luke, chapter ten, verse sixteen. He that hear of you, hear of me. Yeah, yeah. He that it's written in the red. So this is Lord Yahweh speaking. Said he that hear of you, hear of me. So what he that hear of us out there on the highways and byways is ultimately hearing our Lord and Savior, you know? Why? Because he is the one that sent us out there. He's the one that, you know, uh, command us to go out on the highways and byways and teach the nation of Israel, you know? Go ahead. And he that despises you, despises me. Yeah, so he that hear of us, you know, is as if you were hearing the Lord. But, you know, he that hateth us, you know, you hate us for um, correcting you with the word. You hate us for going on the highways and byways diligently, week in and week out, you know. Oh, when are those guys just going to stop coming out here so I can enjoy my um, my Saturday in wickedness, you know? It's as if you are saying that to the Lord, you know? For you people who claim to believe in, who you Christians who go to these um, mega churches claim to love, you know? Uh -huh. It says, this is St. Luke chapter 10, verse 16. He that hear of you, hear of me. And he that despises of you, despises of me. Yeah, so what you despise the men of the Lord is as if you're despising the Lord Yahweh, you know, the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. And he that despises of me, despises of him that sent me. Yeah, and who is that? That's Yahweh, you know. That's the true name of the Heavenly Father, you know. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son, who people ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, you know. The Heavenly, if you despise Lord Yahweh Shai, you're despising uh your maker you know the heavenly father mm -hmm. what next? oh yeah i can't think of the scripture though how's it go um who so despised the word yeah yeah get that on um, proverbs 13 13. yeah and then you get proverbs 15 and 10 since you're right there this is proverbs chapter 13 verse 13. whoso despised the word yeah that whoso you know, that's the spirit. It says that whoso you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans start from top. This is Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13. Whoso despised the word. Yeah, and what's the word? The word became flesh. The word is Lord Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. Shall be destroyed. Yeah, shall be destroyed. It didn't say shall get hugs and kisses. You know, it says that they were going to be destroyed. What? For despising the word, for hating ultimately our Lord, you know, who died on the cross for us. Go ahead. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Yeah, but he that feareth the Most High, he that come back and repent, you know, follow the law, statute, commandments to the best of their abilities, you know, get in, in, and receive this wisdom and get faith, shall be rewarded. You know, Lord's only part of the elect, us brothers, um, doing the video, and the sincere brothers across the four corners of the earth, you know. Uh, what are we going to be reward, rewarded with? A kingdom, you know, because that's what we're seeking after. <laughs> Get them um, go over the Proverbs of uh, fifteen and ten. This is Proverbs chapter fifteen, verse ten. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. Yeah, correction. How do we correct our people with the word, you know? It says correction is grievous, so it grieves our people. You know, those who have forsaken the way, those who have, you know, decided to follow after the ways of the so-called white man and these heathens, you know. The so-called white man being the red Hebrew Edomite, according to the Bible. 
you know. It says correction is grievous on them that forsake of the ways. So if you've cast off, you know, following after the ways of the Lord, so what? When when you're corrected, you don't want to hear it, you know. Uh -huh. Our people don't want to hear correction. They don't want to hear that they can't smoke their weed anymore, you know. The thing that they love, Yah by Shema Shai hates. They don't want to hear that, you know. Uh -huh. They can't get edge ups. They can't go to the barber shop. They can't go to the strip club anymore. They can't commit adultery no more. Mm hmm Yep. They can't go to the strip club and try to um, go and sleep with these other men's women, you know? Because mm -hmm. a lot of these um, women at the strip club, what, they have a man, you know? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. It reads on. And he that hateth reproof shall die. Yeah, he that hateth reproof shall die, you know? Y'all by Shema Shai said the prophets out there on the highways and byways to correct our people what and you hate these if you hate them you know if you hate them they're rebuke if in the gates you're gonna die you know it say it didn't say that the lord was gonna you know prolong your days the scripture says it's plain you the lord's gonna put you to death get on um, second chronicles 15 and 13. Bring like um two more out okay this is Second Chronicles, chapter fifteen, verse thirteen. That whosoever, and that whosoever is talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, would not seek Yahweh by Shemaiah of Israel, should be put to death. Yeah, should be put to death. Should be given hugs and kisses. Should be put to death. Should be given um, rainbows and sparkling flies. Should be put to death. Yeah, that's simple, man. You know, if you don't want to seek out by Shema Shai, and first and foremost, how do you seek the Lord? You know, by the men that you set up, some were apostles and elders, teaching you the word, teaching you, breaking down the scriptures thoroughly, rightly dividing the word of truth, you know? Uh huh. Is it going to be put to death, you know? If you don't want to repent, seek out by Shema Shai, your power, you're going to, you are going to die here in Babylon by way of famine, by way of race riots, martial law troops. Of kicking in your door, taking you to the concentration camps, and putting you in the guillotine and cutting off your head, you know? By the way, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not going to die by the RFID chip, you know? Okay. But if you do take the chip, that, that is one way you might die, you know? They could take off, uh, of what the RFID chip has cyanide yeah. in it, and they could, uh, you know, turn off your chip, and what you can, they can ultimately uh, kill you, you mm -hmm. know? Or what? Or by taking, you take the RFID chip and the Lord preserve you with those ICBM nuclear missiles, you know? Mm hmm Whether small or great. Yeah, whether small or great. So the Lord is no respect to a person. Whether you're a poor man, a bum on the street, passing this word, you know, you might be living in the, in the, because we got on the highways and byways and teach in you know in the major cities you know you might be living you might be a bum on the street living on the major city you know you pass a uh, camp you know you know what you're condemned you know if you don't hearken and repent you know whether you're great whether you're a rich person in society so what you feel like you're so busy that you don't have time for the lord you know lord when i'm done with my career i'll come and seek him i'll come and seek the lord you know scriptures talk about make no tearing to turn to the lord you know and putting that off from day to day as soon as you hear this word you're supposed to repent whether small or great uh -huh. go ahead whether man or woman yeah whether man or woman you know oh i want to wait for my wife to go to college and you know and graduate and then me and her are gonna seek the Lord together, you know? No, you gotta seek the Lord for yourself, you know? Scriptures say let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind, you know? You can't wait for another person to come and seek the Lord, you know? The Lord is no respect to a person. Either you're gonna come and serve him or you're gonna perish. Get up Amos five and four and we'll close out with that. Okay. Unless you got any precepts. Nah. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 4. For thus says Yahweh unto the house of Israel. In the house of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Go ahead. Seek ye me, and ye shall live. Yeah, seek ye me, and ye shall live. It didn't say seek Buddha. It didn't say, it say seek Allah. You know, it said, it, is, um, it said, seek ye me, and ye shall live. And this one scripture just proven. That salvation is only for the nation of Israel, you know, not for all nations. It says, Seek ye me and you shall live. So, what? You seek the, the doctrine of Yahweh Shema Shai, 
being taught by our apostles and elders of the great millstone and the men on down, you're going to live, you know. Uh -huh. Lord's will be part of the elect, but we're going to live and um, we're going to be granted with those new bodies and given the rulership in the kingdom of heaven, you know. You want to say anything? Uh -huh. You know, um, Lord's will and your brothers were edified, you know, the sincere brothers, you know, repent. You know, turn back to Yahweh by Shema Hashai and seek him, you know, seek Yahweh by Shema Hashai early, you know. Scriptures talk about as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more, you know. Now is the time to seek the Lord, you know. And all those that despise the word of the Lord are going to die, they're going to perish. But before we go any further, we'll give all praise on and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. The barns are apostles and elders of great millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible rule well and peace and blessings so for like of the nation of Israel. The next time we say Shalom. Shalom.